Peace. 337. Time's run out for many people who say they were sexually abused at juvenile detention centers in the state. Time has run out for them to sue. The governor vetoed a bill that would have given them some more time. Karen Adams has more. Victim advocates, including attorney John Manley, are furious with the governor. I've been representing children in sexual assault cases since 1997. And I've never seen any politician do anything like he did on Sunday. The bill the governor vetoed would have given victims an extra year to sue. Manley says the governor extended the statute of limitations for victims in the USC and UCLA sex abuse cases. Why not here? You know, every white woman, a sorority member at USC got justice and got an opportunity. But when it comes to the black and brown children of Los Angeles who were put in these camps, and they were really concentration camps for 30 years, we're going to give them a pass. What? <laughs> yeah. Shame on him. Manley says he hopes the state legislature overrides the veto. L.A. County saw a flood of cases after a change in state law in 2020. Thousands say they were sexually abused at a juvenile detention center or boot camp. Last year, officials say it could cost upwards of $3 billion to resolve the cases. I'm Karen Adams, KNX News, 97.1 FM.